Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have an update and it has to do with Blender 2.81, which is the recent update that will be coming to Blender very soon. So this is more like the ice cream on top of the, you know, of the whole thing or the eyes on top of Blender 2.8. And it comes with a couple of features. Now, these features that we are going to look at are things that by default, I just didn't know that it would be necessary. Not until when I started seeing them, then I figured out that, okay, now I think this is really useful. And, you know, I would like to share them with you guys. So first things first, if you go over to the blender.org website, link of this is going to be in the description so you can find it. You see this. So this simply means that this is going to be available 2019. This is going to be an update to the Blender 2.8. And the first things that you notice is it's going to come with the OpenVDB voxel remesh. So I think this is going to be a much better way of remeshing. The next one is the Intel Open Image Denoise. So this denoise uh, is something that a lot of people have actually wanted to see. It has showed up in some other apps. But the cool thing with this is this is going to be a new node that will be available in the compositor. So you know the kind of no the noise nodes you get to find in Nuke and all that stuff. It's cool to actually see that this is going to be coming to Blender. Eevee. Eevee is also something that is really, really cool for me. I think I kind of like the things I'm seeing coming to Eevee. So remember Eevee was, you know, first featured in the alpha versions, the beta versions, and then the final version of Blender 2.8. Yeah. Today we're seeing some significant improvement. They're saying that in Blender 2.81, we'll be able to actually have transparency directly on the viewport. Now, I've not gone ahead to check that one out, but of course I'm going to show you guys how you can do the handout. So for this one, what you need to do, especially if you're into visual effects and you know you want to go ahead and create some very interesting cutouts or alphas you know you want to hand out things so that you can do a proper composition later yeah how you can do this is there is now a shader for this so the shader works like this let me just go ahead and turn this off so how the shader work is if you come through you go over here you see here we have the principal uh, bsdf yeah you go all the way and turn this to handout and this is how you're going to be able to get the mask to me i think this is going to be very very cool and a lot of people definitely you know jump and use this so with Eevee out of the way let's talk about the ui so the ui now have some you know some updates some cool stuff we like cool stuffs in blender yeah so we have you know we have a couple of cool stuffs now so you can now see that the arrangement of these things uh kind of better i kind of like them i mean i like the way this is now arranged you now have you know more things to do here instead of having all those chunks there and also they have gone ahead to use this place very very well you know previously or in the previous versions of blender here was just blank you just don't see anything except this uh, uh tiny icon so how do we illustrate this a very good way to illustrate this is now this is this right here is now the property bar so think about the property bar like this that whenever you have an object selected so let's just simply say we're going into modeling mode and you pick a setting object or you pick a setting you know uh tool that you want to work with this is going to display the properties of that tool so if i'm going to select the extrude yeah you can see that here i can choose to extrude using xyz or using regular you know you can find all of that stuff there and the same thing happens with the bevel so if you go ahead and select bevel you can see all of these properties that you like to play with directly here i'm actually a fan of this one i gotta tell you i like this one a whole lot so let's just jump back and you know show you guys some other cool stuff that i think you guys would like to see so one of the cool stuff that has to do with the ui that i love a whole lot is the fact that you know the fire browser is now updated so the fire browser is something that we all love so if i simply go over to file and say open and actually say don't save as of now and simply let me just drag this to this other screen so you guys can see okay cool so now you can see how the fire browser looks to this effect I would say thumbs up to Blender. The fact that, you know, we now have a different window, this particular window now, and you know, you can actually have this window on a different monitor and on this same monitor, just totally different. And you can see, we can still go in there and we can still make all the plays that we want to do and still, you know, have this here 
to me, I kind of like it. I like the fact that, you know, you can tear things out, you can put things together. And if you're considering about the filter or if you're thinking about the filter, the filter is now looking way, way better. I think I'm just going to go ahead and pull up Blender 2.8 so you can actually look at the two of them together and see what they look like. All right, so this is Blender 2.8. This is the default Blender 2.8 and you can see what it looks like directly here. And let's just go ahead and, you know, jump and say open and say don't save. So you can now see for yourself what this bad boy looks like. All right. So you will see what it looks like. And I know a couple of people will say, oh, I mean, you need to turn up the thumbnail. If we go ahead and turn up the thumbnail, you can see what this thumbnail looks like. And for the life of me, I think this, even though you're so, so used to this, I think this is way better. I mean, you just click here and you can go through this. Is way better than this all right and actually you can now do the show hidden and you can now see hidden stuff and you know you can turn this out you can you know filter things by how you like them and i kind of think it makes more sense visually and otherwise i like this one a whole lot compared to what we have here so moving on to something incredibly nice i gotta tell you guys a like now this one has to do we uh the collection or the outline or the inspector depending on what 3d package you're coming from so let me just go ahead and close this all right so directly here you're going to notice we have a collection now cool stuffs are happening here i gotta tell you guys one cool thing that is happening here so if i just simply go back so i'm just gonna cancel you know because it's blender 2.8 and if i press the up key and i choose to go up you can notice i cannot walk through my scene hierarchy but guess what people if i just do this you see i can walk through my scene hierarchy and just this little you know this little crumbs here and there are actually what makes using this software a bit more exciting to me i think you know that makes a lot of sense the fact that you can just simply you know come through and just move like this if you press the right key you can select something below if you press the left key you can actually collapse everything you know things like this to me they make a lot of sense another thing that makes sense to me guys is this the fact that you can now you know do a mark you selection and select all of these bad boys and you know you can move them to a second collection that that you see right there wasn't existing here before so you see Cool stuffs are coming to Blender and they're very little, but at the same time, they make a lot of sense. Now let's talk about sculpting because I know you guys would like to hear that one. So sculpting now has a couple of cool stuff. One of the cool stuff that I kind of like that has to do with sculpting is the fact that, you know, the entire curve thing. So if I just simply come over here, position this here. Now, if I just come through and grab onto anything at all meanwhile just notice that the pinch now exists within these colors it no longer exists within this one uh, just to prove to you guys just to show you guys just to show you guys now you see where the pinch existed before you know it existed within these ones but now the ui for the pinch kind of changed i don't know if they're going to change this in the final release but right now this is what it looks like and also you can now see that before the snake hook we have a new brush called the elastic deform so the elastic deform kind of does what the elastic move in zbrush actually does so you can now see uh, you can see that in action here okay very cool cool monkey hello monkey monkey okay so something like this makes a lot of sense for me so speaking about using the brushes there is presets for the fall off and I know you guys might say that these presets exist before, but they do not have the name tagging like this. All right. They do not have the name tagging like this. So the name tags right now makes a lot of sense. It's easier for you to know what, you know, what fall off you're using, you know, instead of second guessing that to me is cool. One more amazing thing that they've done is this brush. Ta -da! So this brush is actually called the pose brush. The pose brush reminds me of, you know, Modbox. So remember Modbox, if you've used Modbox before, if you haven't used Modbox before, there's actually something that looks like this in Modbox. But the thing with this is what you can do with this is you can go ahead and pose this character as much as you want. Okay, so for example, you want to pose the face and let's say you want to change how here looks. So I think a good place this will work is when you want to make blend shapes. So I think, you know, making blend shape, tweaking a little bit of here and there, moving things, you know, posing your character, maybe posing the leg, posing the hand, 
posing the head, you know, just posing things instead of actually plugging the armature directly in and using it. This is going to be a huge lifesaver, especially if you're using a tablet, then this is going to make sense for you. Transform tools, they now exist here. I don't know for you guys, but you know, in the previous version, I don't get to find it, but here, you know, you get to find this directly here. So these are some very nice features. And before we actually, you know, leave the sculpting part, there is also a new brush that is added on top here, which is called the draw sharp. To me, that sounds like damn standard brush, you know, just revamped. So if you look at the old one here, you don't get to see it. So it looks like the damn standard brush. So I'm just going to reduce the size here and simply, okay, now, so let's increase the size just a bit. So you guys can see. So it looks like the damn standard brush in action. If you hold down control, you can actually invert that. You know, it looks like the damn standard brush to me. So these are some very cool stuff coming to the sculpting tool that exists in Blender. So if you're into rigging or let's say you're into, you know, you know, plugging things here and there, trying to make some mechanical stuff work, then you might like the idea of an eyedropper tool that now comes with Blender. So if I go over here and simply select uh, Suzanne the monkey and I come through and just simply select the driver, constraint, whatever you call it. Yeah. So once you have this here, I can now say copy rotation and I'll just use the eyedropper guys. And you know, you can do the eyedropper here or you can just simply do the eyedropper from here. So first of all, let me just find out, let me actually cancel this operation. So what is this? This is cube 003. So I'm just going to do that and you can now pick directly from the outliner. Cool, yeah? So, because we want this to actually follow the rotation, so we're going to have, ta-da, cool. So now let's talk about scale so if you want to also have skill i can now say this is going to follow rotation but this now has to follow skill and what we can do is just copy transform and uh okay so i'm just going to go ahead copy transform and i'm going to select this so you can see that copies the transform and this simply means that wherever this object goes okay sorry uh, wherever this object goes the other one inside actually follows Okay, if you also want to copy some other stuff, so I'm just going to position this one here. Uh, let's just rotate this around. Remember, we still have this controlling the rotation of our very lovely objects, which we have here. So remember, it's still controlling Susan the monkey, the ro rotation here. So we can now come over here and say we want this right here. Okay, or we can use this right here and say we want to copy the scale so we can do that as well and just simply you know select this so now if you go ahead and scale this bad boy you can see what the scale looks like so this now copies the scale like this now copies the scale of this and you know this now copies the rotation so these are like the minor cool features that will be coming to blender so i would like to know what you guys think about this cool stuff in the comment section which of them interests you the most which of them do you think you would like to work with there is also talks about the alembic improvement the new cycles node and the mesh analysis now i don't know how that one works i have not used it before once i do if you guys want to also see the, the new particle node in action put all those things in the comment section and i'm gonna come through for you guys and show you guys how these things work and of course if you want to get the software link to this is going to be in the description where you can get this and you can play with it and do whatever you want to do at the same time also bear in mind that this is still an alpha version is not yet complete which simply means do not use this for production so tell me what your thoughts about this is in the comment section and if you like this video if you've used blender before if you want to use blender if you love what you see go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to you know subscribe tell someone to tell someone and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing to just see you come back by hitting the subscribe button and turning on notification and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace